the future. Um, Chris? You, hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Chris Nogabau, everyone. Oh, I will take that. You will need that, yes. Yes, uh, <laughs> I seem to make a habit of coming on stage at this event and talking about conferences. Um, so let's start off by giving a, a huge congratulations to Team Geelong. They've done an amazing job at running a community-driven conference with such a long history. Uh, it's been fantastic this week and it's a real privilege to take over from them. So, uh, for those of you who know me, don't know me, uh, I'm Chris. Uh, you may know me from the former Antarctic bid team, uh, who I'm terribly <laughs> sorry to be abandoning this year. Um, this year, I've uh, actually successfully helped lead a bid for LinuxConf AU uh, to bring it to my home city of Hobart. Uh, so, LCA was last in Hobart in 2009, and we'll be taking it back on January 16th to 20th in 2017. Uh, so who here was at Hobart in 2009? Good, quite a lot of you. Well, you might remember a sleepy backwater in a spectacular location wedged between the mountain and the waterfront. Well, in the last seven years, Hobart's changed quite a lot. Since the Museum of Old and New Art moved in five years ago, the city's undergone a transformation driven by artists, craftsmen and makers who've all found great inspiration in their city and surroundings. And we're starting to share that back with the world there's really no better time for you to come back to Hobart. Our food scene is simply amazing. The world famous apples that sustained Tasmania through the depression of last century is now fueling a growing craft cider industry. And our craft distilling industry is spectacular. If you fondly remember visits to the Lark Bar back in 2009, you're really going to love Hobart in 2017. Tasmania is now home to more whiskey distilleries than the rest of Australia put together. And they're all doing things that you can't find anywhere else. From those who went and pursued politicians to change the law to pursue their passion, to those who you know, bashed together their entire growing and distillation process in their backyard. Tasmania's produce industry is full of tinkerers, makers and hackers. And we think you'll feel at home in Hobart next year too. And of course, we still have amazing food from, uh, made from local produce and spectacular places to enjoy them from. Hobart in January is wonderful. We have really long evenings. We have days that are warm, but not too warm, and a city where everything is in easy reach. Our social program at LCA 2017 is going to let you enjoy everything that Tasmania has to offer, and we hope you'll join us. We have an amazing venue at the uh, Rest Point Convention Centre. We're five metres, literally, from Hobart's waterfront, and you'll get to enjoy Ho uh, LCA's hallway track while soaking up great views of the Derwent. It's set on expansive grounds with gardens and we'll be catering all three breaks during the conference, so you'll be able to enjoy some wonderful conversations over lunch right next to Hobart's shoreline. You can stay on site and get wonderful views on the city. Uh, we'll be announcing preferred rates for delegates sometime throughout the year and we'll keep you all posted as to when they're available and how to book them. But if you'd rather stay somewhere cheaper, we've arranged the fantastic Utah's apartments that were so popular in 2009. Uh, they're just up the hill from Rest Point. It's quite a big hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no matter where you stay, you're going to enjoy Hobart's wonderful setting. So about the conference itself. Linux ConfAU is where the world comes to learn from the best minds in open source and in free software. It's where people come to learn from the people who shape the future of open source. And this year, we encourage you to consider what this future holds. So LCA is always going to be about free software, open systems, and people come here to learn what great things they'll be using and deploying in the new year. So let's come and learn about the future of what you'll be working on. But then there's also fields of endeavor who have discovered the methods that free software and open source movements have, have pioneered and extended them to work in their own fields, be that government or science. Let's talk about how these fields have learned from our movement and how we can work with these fields in the future. Our community has an opportunity to shape how users interact with technology. We need to examine the role that open source has in letting users take control of their own data and to consider how the free software we develop impacts upon our rights, upon our privacy, upon our reputations. 
And finally, the future poses threats and challenges to the world of free software that we've been working towards, and it's time for our community to question where it's going. Like, why are there so many advocates of open source who are now going back to proprietary platforms rather than free software? Are we failing to meet our own needs as users? Do we still need Linux on the desktop? Have we met? <laughs> Come and talk about it. Has free software missed the boat as a useful thing for end users on mobile, and what can we do about that? Why are we moving back to world, walled gardens for our communication? Why aren't we pursuing federated open protocols anymore, and how can we reverse this decline? It's time we think about these questions and many more, and we invite you to think about the big questions facing open source throughout the coming year. We'll be choosing some amazing keynote presenters who we hope will explore some of these ideas with you, and we'll be directing our program committee to choose great presentations that explore the future of open source. So, Linux Conf AU 2017 will be held in Hobart on January the 16th to the 20th. You can find out more as the year progresses at lca2017.org, and you can track down myself and other organizers on our team, including Craig McWhorter and Michael Cordover, uh, after the conference finishes. So let's see you in Hobart next January. Thank you, Chris. Um.